Root 8. 월평 대평 올레. Route Overview. Let's start off with Jeju Ole Trail, Route 8, connecting Wolpyeong to Daepyeong. Route 8 is 9.6 kilometers long, which takes around 5 to 6 hours to complete. The level of difficulty is rated medium. If you walk at a leisurely pace, you'll arrive at the finishing point of the route before you notice. First of all, let me introduce the main spots of Route 8. Starting from Awe Nangmok rest area of Wolpyeong village, which means embracing the moon, the route passes Yakchansa Temple, Depo Pogu, the port, the Jungmun Complex soccer field, Jusang Jali Cliff Information Center, Perigne Orum, Jungmun Sekdal Beach, the Jungmun Tourism Complex, Yere Eco Village, Nonjimur, Haye Pogu, and Depyong Henyo's Changing Room until the finishing point at Depyong Pogu, the port. Route 8 is relatively simple to hike. After Perigne Orum and a sandy beach of Jungmun Sekdal Beach, it can be much easier to walk compared to the paths you hiked on the first half of the route. The majority of the second half of the route includes paved roads, particularly a flat path where a stroller can be pushed stretches out from Nonjimur to Daepyeong Pogu. Route 8 is also called the Padang Ole. Padang means sea in the Jeju dialect. It passes Chusangjali Cliff with its magnificent scenery, created by the solidification of lava flowing into the sea, and a coastal path with its gorgeous view, made by silver grass swaying in the wind. Daepyeongni village, where the finishing point is, is a place where you can fully feel the serenity nature creates. Daepyeong is called Nandere, meaning a broad field that stretches out to the sea. Gunsan, embracing the village, also has a beautiful view. From now, shall we take our first step on Route 8? Route 8, starting from Awe Nangmok, passes through the sea and the tangerine fields on foot, and leads to Yakchansa, known as one of the greatest temples in Asia. After passing Yakchansa, the small village and the paths in between farming fields, you'll reach Depo Pogu. Depo Pogu means a big port, which is indicated by Depo in Chinese characters. Presumably, the name of the village Depo was named for the first time, relating with a favorable geographical condition as a strategic base of fisheries for fishing boats to go into the nearby sea and the East China Sea in the past. Around Depo Pogu, there are lots of raw fish restaurants and many leisure facilities, such as a yacht tour for sightseeing. If you are interested, please check it out in advance. Turning your steps toward the Jungmun Complex soccer field and hiking along Jungmun Gwangwangno a little more, you will see Peri Ne Oram, the attraction of Route 8. Hiking down along the path toward the north, from the top of Perineorum, you'll meet the walkway of Chanjeon Waterfalls. As the middle part of Route 8 gets closer and closer, the beautiful Jungmun Sekdal Beach, characterized by a long arch-shaped sandy beach like an arrow, starts to show up. This beach has distinctive sand called Jin Mosar. Mosar means sand in Jeju dialect. Jin has two meanings. One is to be sticky with fine and thin texture, and the other the long white sand. The reason why Jungmun Sektal Beach is outstanding among other beaches in Jeju Island is the color of the sandy beach. It even has four different hues of sand in the beach. Black, white, red, and gray. So harmonizing with the black basalt, the unique scenery of the beach arouses a great admiration. Getting closer to the second half of Route 8, you'll reach a gradual curved path. After getting your breath back, you should take a moment to enjoy the scenery and relax with the surrounding views. And in Nandere, the village which makes travelers stay longer if time allows, it would be better to enjoy a deeper impression of the village. Nandere is the old name of Daepyeong village, which means a broad field far from a village in the Jeju dialect. Here, do not miss the distinctive decoration of the houses, such as crafts like door plates and mosaic patterned walls, that are unique and interesting enough to be an exhibition, 
Don't miss them. In Depyeongni, it is good to listen carefully to the story of Henyas. To preserve the declining culture of the Henya, a Henya festival takes place in Depyeongni every weekend from July to September every year. Have you ever heard about Jeju Henya? As a well-known story about the Jeju Henya, you may know about Sumbisori, which is the sound they make after coming up from a dive, and the fact that the culture of Henya was listed as an intangible cultural heritage of humanity of UNESCO. But you may not know about what the lives of Jeju Henyas are like. For this reason, watching the Nandere Ole Jomnyo performance is recommended to hikers hiking on Ole Route 8. If it's not the season for the performance, hike toward the ocean and you will have a chance to see Henyo's Mulchil catching seafood in the ocean and hearing their Sumbisori. Well, did you check the locations to get your passport stamped? The stamping points are the Awe Nangmok Rest Area, which is at the starting point, the Jusang Jali Cliff Information Center, which is in the middle point, and Daepyeong Pogu, the finishing point. Don't forget to get your stamps to keep your memory for a long time.